What's up with it, y'all? It's your boy OT. And Miss Dorothy. And you are now tuned into. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Like, subscribe, and follow wherever you get your podcast from. That's right, Otis. Whatever you say, Otis, y'all ain't stupid. They come and see me. the beginning to the start of a long week because I was about to say the end of but it was the end of my short little weekend I think that's where I was going with it but words to live by slash quote of the day is you know what I really don't have one but that's okay because I'm gonna make a one on the fly sometimes you just gotta be yourself when everybody around you wants to be somebody they're not because we live in a world where everybody wants to be like somebody instead of just being true to themselves because I think you are like better when you're true and genuine nobody likes a person who's not being real with themselves I absolutely like that. I like that too <laughs> <laughs> I have to think of something up on the fly because you know what I'm saying I didn't really I ain't I've been turning my thinking cap off lately yeah not trying to be funny but I really have I just have not been thinking so that has been your words to live by slash quote of the day So here we go. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. You know, that that's kind of where I'm at. With it, like you know what I'm saying. So, if y'all just tuning in, we're kind of exploring like what is what it is to be in love, or you know, basically, how do you know you're in love with a person? So, you know, um, the topic, (laughs) yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Just and how, but how do you know? And for me, like I said, it's like when you kind of don't, in a sense, do anymore, like you're used to. Staying out late or texting this person, doing this person, living kind of rec- recklessly. And now you're with somebody. I feel like when you w- get with somebody, this is just personal opinion. Like you, if you say you love that person, then it's a lot of things that you will do to try to keep that person that, you know, not necessarily compromising or changing. But if you love somebody, you will compromise and you will change. Yeah. For on your own behalf. So, yeah. But what do you think? (laughs) (laughs) I think it looks differently for for everyone. I definitely agree. Like, once you're in love with someone, those distractions and everything aren't a factor anymore. Um, Relationships are work, and they require a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. So being disciplined enough to not want to hurt your partner in those ways of those distractions in the past. That has something to do with it. Um, of course, God has a lot to do with love. Um, and you know, you're in love with someone when God is, cause there's going to be ups and downs regardless, right? Mm-hmm. Um, when God is continuously giving you those signs and, um, continuously giving that assurance within you and your partner that you've made the right decision and, and you're yeah. on the right path with each other um when you feel safe with someone that has definitely. a lot to do with it definitely for sure um that comfort so it's been a lot of times like you know because we we all been like this uh Takesa wasn't my first relationship of course um she probably wasn't my first love but will be my last uh yeah <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said it's like i love i i i thought I loved a lot of people. But when I look back on certain relationships, I'm like, oh, I wasn't in love with you. I was in love with maybe sex, maybe what you could do for me. Just little things that wasn't like, that didn't, it didn't really reflect love. It's like, okay, this is what I love about you. Yeah. But when I think about it, I'm like, oh, I wasn't in love with this person. Like, uh, the one girl that, to tell you travel the world with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say no names. But um I never even really liked her at first. 
I grew to like her. And I did I thought I loved her, but I didn't mm. because you know, it that was six months. Like that's half a year. Like it takes I'm not gonna say it takes more than six months because with me and Kessel, we we kind of knew because we had like been crossing paths, crossing paths, and it was like, all right, do this, do this. And Rose always led back to each other. But for the most part, like, I wasn't in love with somebody who I met in six months, I, but I seen every up and down that you would ever go through. Yeah. So it was more so of, okay, I, I like this about, I love this about you. I love this about you, but I liked you. I didn't. I wasn't in love with you, so it, it was more so. Oh, I love the fact you do this. I love the fact you do that. But I wasn't looking at um, you. I was looking at what you were doing for me because that's what it always was. So it was always, oh, here's this. It was always a give. I think that was her love language towards me, and I received it because you know I like to receive, but my love language is is touch. Just yeah, yeah. You know? So with with her, it was just like. Gifts, 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 gifts. I'm like, shit, okay. <laughs> but when I got down to it and really tried to talk to her, oh, it was no conversation. Mm. Like that, that's another thing that I feel like if you love, if you say you love me, then you would talk to me about stuff. But you wouldn't say little like things like, oh, well, I was told <laughs> I need you. I just need you to be my boyfriend. I don't need you to be my best friend. <laughs> and I get it. You ladies have friends but if hear hear me as a dude is showing my sense of this side to you and I'm trying to speak to you I'm trying to talk to you and you won't let me in like that's 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 love in itself from a from a man's standpoint cuz I can honestly tell you a lot of dudes don't open up and talk right they don't want to open up and talk or they don't know how to mm-hmm. so if a dude opens up and talk to you like you feel safe around them secure like you goes like back you to that yeah 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 have, have that I'm sorry, I want to put. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. (laughs) Um, But no, absolutely. And there, you can have a lot of love for a person Mm -hmm. and not be in love with them. It sometimes having love for them is where it's gonna stay at because you don't need to be with them. You can care about them. Yeah. And I just think that is so silly. Whenever people want their partner to just be their boyfriend or their girlfriend, yeah. not their best friend. And I know we've touched on this in one of the past episodes, mm-hmm. a specific thing, but it's like, like I said before, one day y'all are all each other is gonna have. Yep, wiping each other's asses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all might as well be best friends. No, seriously, yeah. Like the comfort in coming home to someone and, and telling them just all about the day and, and having the tea times that you have with your girls or, sure. um, you know, y'all sit back and talk mess. I'm not going to call it tea time for men, but, you know, all that. and Basketball, barbershop talk. And, yeah, barbershop talk <laughs> and et cetera. Like, what is wrong with that? Nothing. Because I'm not going to lie to you, me and Takesa talk about probably everything. Like, you know. I just love y'all. Um, I'll be honest with you. Like, if you, I say a couple like us, like, if you, I think Austin said it best. He knows when, if he's talking to Takesa, he's probably talking to me too. Yeah. Vice versa. Because, like, that is how it is. Now, if if he goes, tells her something, like, something private, she's not going to tell me. Like, we're, we're, we, we come to that understanding. But I told her, I'm like, hey. If somebody ever tells you something that's, like, confidential to you, and, yeah, we could be close, like, yeah, that's my cousin. But if he came and told her something, and he was like, hey, I just need, I don't even need you to Otis, she would. She wouldn't even, she wouldn't even bring up the fact that they had even talked about anything, so it would be no room for me to know. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't consider that, oh, that's a secret. That's just, that's their relationship. You know what I'm saying? They they were friends, so how who am I to sit there and get in the middle of that? So just being, but when um when we talk, we talk about everything. Like so, we go to a party, we probably look at the same thing. And did you see X, Y, and Z? Like we 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 that we we will gossip. Yeah. But we're not sitting here yes, malicious <laughs> intent <laughs> malicious intent on people. It's just like oh, you want to put that out there? Okay, it's for everybody to see. Yeah. So that yeah. That, that's that's my baby, because <laughs> I, I I love the fact that I can be myself around a person, and that's another thing. That's that's how I know. Like I have not had to change who I was. Mm-hmm. Like I had to change some things I was doing. Yeah. Because you know I'm in a relationship now, but I haven't had to change 
me as a person. I can still be me. I can still like go out by myself. She can go out by herself. Like there's no, Oh, where are you at at all times? Like she don't like, if she gets home from work and I'm not there, she does not immediately call me. Right. Because I mean, she got my location so she can see where I'm at. But uh, if I don't come home at a certain time, like if I'm at my brother's house, yeah, I'm getting a call. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, Which, come on. Yeah. Respectfully. That makes sense. Yeah. Where you at? No, for sure. I mean, love requires sacrifice. It does. And I think people don't like that. Exactly. And if you're not willing to make those sacrifices, like, are you really in love? I don't know. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself that. That's a good question. <laughs> because like sacrifice, see, that's why I say it's, I don't think it's sacrifice nor a compromise. It's just like, well, I guess you compromising with yourself. Like, okay, how much do I value this person? Mm-hmm. Love, mm. love this person. Value and love. Mm. It's two different things. But how much do I value this person? Because I feel like that's where love will come in. Like, okay, I don't want to lose this person based off the little things I'm doing, but value if you value a person you'll think I, I don't want to lose this person like I thought about that day I'm like okay um and granted the person you with won't be perfect because right. I'm nobody's, I, perfect. nobody's perfect but everything like I can say she does is perfect to me because I've chose this is what I this is who I chose to be with so you, you either make the best out of it or you kind of got to move around because a lot of people be out here thinking they in love, wasting each other's time. You didn't, and I didn't seen it. You didn't wasting had, each other's time. You didn't had kids together. You didn't had step kids together or whatever it may happen. And it's just like you get attached to the routine of things. Like, okay, going to work, being with this person. But y'all know y'all not happy because you're arguing every day. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> um, not, not happy. Like, you know, I you know I got plenty of relationships. Uh, so one relationship I was in, I knew I shouldn't have been in that relationship, and even my brother was telling me. But I really I loved her, but she did not love me, and I knew that, mm. which is crazy. I knew that, and she said to me one day, she was like, "I know you love me, but I don't want to talk about it." I was like, Damn. "What?" Mm-hmm. And how did that make you feel? I was dumb at the time, so I'm like, okay. This is this is how my brain processed it. But now that I look back on it, I'll tell you that. But how my brain processed it at the time, oh, she acknowledged the fact that I love her. So even though I'm knowing, like, we've we been together for way too long and this is just not happening, I was kind of like, okay, she she's noticing me. Now, that's tough to be not noticing a relationship that you're in, and, and that's the first thought I thought. Oh, she noticed, she noticed me. So I felt like kind of, you know, I really did. And that stuff happens so often. Glad I didn't have no kids, by, but I really did. So when people ask me, did you? Because people used to come up to me after the fact, I'm like, oh, this, we just didn't see you with, with that person. Isn't mm. it? Like, you know. That's always such a big thing. Hindsight. Tegessa told me the same thing. She said, boy, she's like, the moment you did that, I called up my friend and we was like, what is he thinking? Like, how does he go from? my high school sweetheart to um, what I went to. To me, to this day, I don't think the girl's ugly. Now, I don't think she was necessarily my type, but it was something I liked about her, and then I grew to love her, but I knew deep down inside it could never be. So I played myself, but I thought, like, you know, some females think, oh, I can change this person. I I really, I always thought I could change this person because I seen, you see the good in that evil person. You see, like, I seen the good and I'm like, if she just do this, then she would be. But she didn't want to do that. I wanted her to do that. So when I look back on it, that that was, um, I was in love with her, really. But I knew she wasn't in love with me. So that was a hard pill to swallow. So after a while, when she started really wild, and I just had to let it go. Because I'm just like, I'm going to drive myself crazy. And shout out to my boy, D-Bubba. Because he wanted to kind of talk to me like, hey, say, he like, that's why he would be my best man in my wedding. Cause he came in and did what a a brother's supposed to do. Like, not saying my brothers wasn't telling, because I tell you, my older brother that never really say nothing told me, like, hey, I don't, I'm yeah. everybody telling me, but it's like it took somebody from outside of my family to sit there and say, Say, get your shit together. You a good dude. You sitting here dragging yourself through the mud. 
um, basically stop it. Right, right. Stop being a bitch, come on. That's basically <laughs> what he told me. You were in love. You were in love. But um, that that was a false hope love because I was I was hope hopeful that she would love me. Shout out to the vacuum. Shout out to the vacuum. You know, it's crazy that you say that. And I want to find the exact statement because I know that we've both heard this. Take your time. Take your time. Let them use you. <laughs> so, you know that saying like you have your first, second, and third love, that whole theory? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. So, it's like the first love that happens at a young age. You eventually grow apart or call it quits over silly things. Um, when you get older, you may look back and think it wasn't love, but the truth is it was. It was love for what you knew love to be. And then your second That should have been the quote of the day. I like that. Well, we can always run that back. You can just say it, you know. Well, you can do it in your corner. Do, 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 do. You know. My corner my corner is about to be a, a corner of anger. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, second love. The hard one. You get hurt in this one. This love teaches us lessons and makes us stronger. This love includes great pain, lies, betrayal, abuse, Ooh. drama, and damage. Damn. But this is the one where we grow. I it, needed that one. Damn. I needed that one for real. I had that. That's the one I'll tell you about. The one told I, me. I could tell. Yeah. Um, we realize what we love about love and what we don't love about love. Now we know the difference between good and bad humans. Now we become closed, careful, cautious, and considerate. Number two. And then your third, love. This one comes blindly, no warning. It creeps on you silently. You don't go looking for this love. It comes to you. You can put up any wall you want. It will be broken down. You'll find yourself caring about that person without trying. Uh They look nothing like your usual crush types, but... And that's sometimes. Sometimes they will, sometimes they will. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. get lost in their eyes daily. You see beauty in their imperfections. You hide nothing from them. You want marriage and family with them. You thank the universe for them. And you know you truly love them. First, second, love theory. So, <laughs> I'm going to dive into what you just said. But you, when you said something, it made me think. So, you know, like they said, that young love, you grew apart. Well, I, went, I got with this girl in sixth grade. And she moved to another school. <laughs> so we never broke up, though. So y'all still together. Well, she got kids now, so I feel like she cheated on me. But it's yeah. like I might be cheating on her, too. But I don't got kids. She got kids. It's that polygamous stuff. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. But no, it's like we never we never broke up. So I'm like, but I told her <laughs> I loved her, but I didn't love her. I just was writing a letter, you know, back when you had to write a letter. I like, and she asked me, she said, do you like me or you love me? I like, I think I, I, I was I both. I was in sixth grade. I didn't know. I was just right. writing something. And she was like, okay. And we got together. But, yeah, we never broke up. That's so precious. But what school was this at? This is at Brazos. Shout out to Brazos. That is a figment of our imagination now. Mm-mm-mm. Sad. Sad. Sad day. Um, yeah, that was at Wiley. No, that was at Brazos. I went to Wiley the following year. Um, Now, as far as the, my, I think the first love, oh, that was my high school sweetheart. That that you said it hurt. It it hurt. read it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Cause yeah, that one, that one was my fault. I was I was insecure. I was still in high school. She was in college, so yeah, I, I blame myself for that one. Accountability. Oh, I take accountability for that one. I that that's I ain't gonna say the one that got away, but that's the one that I knew that I messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It says, for the first love, this love often happens at a young age. You eventually grow apart or call it quits over silly things. When you get older, you may look back and think it wasn't love, but the truth is it was. It was love for what you knew love to be. Yeah, that's that's what it was. There's different depths. Yeah. Man, yeah, man. But see, me and her... I would like to think we're still cool this day. I don't talk to her, but if I see her, I would speak to her. I yeah. seen her at a, a friend's wedding, spoke to her, but she's married. I think she has kids, so I'm happy for her. That first love, yeah, that, I think that first love taught me a lot. I bet I didn't tell a lot of people I love them, and I don't think I love them. Now that I'm thinking about it. That was that player. I wasn't even player. I I actually was, I actually had a, a lot of girlfriends. I was with people, mm-hmm. but it just, wasn't working. Like I went to, that's why I caught. I I didn't catch it. I caught a case behind one. I didn't do nothing. 
explain to y'all. Y'all go listen That's to real. the pre- prior season. Um, but with her, it was lust. Mm. It, it was lust. I look back on that whole situation, not in I, like it was a whole lust thing. She was more advanced than I was. She was, I was 20. She was 21 and a half. Not saying nothing, but she was two, basically almost two years older than me. She knew way more than I did. And yeah, it was, <laughs> it was lust. I got turned out. <laughs> it was lust. Did not love her, but I told her I loved her. But that, um. It was a very physical love. Yeah. Now the third one, the one that hurt, tore you apart, the one you was talking about. The oh, second that, one? Oh, that's the second love. The third one is like yes. the soulmate. So, the one you you going to beat with. So basically, I think the second, yeah, the second one was the one I thought I was going to be with, but yeah, yeah, that was a painful experience. It's like a karmic type thing. Yeah, but I knew I shouldn't have hopped in her inbox. It was see, it was my fault. I will self-inflict pain on myself on accident, but I really thought it was a good idea. Like I'm going for this. And a couple of my friends kept saying, "You really like her?" Yes, I do. Like what are you saying? I'm just asking. Cool. But yes, this third love, it's 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 this is the it or it's not gonna be it at all because I'm not about to, I'm not doing it again. I will be a player for life. That's awesome though. And yeah. that you recognize like your third love because I feel like there's a lot of people that even they either pass up on it, don't recognize it. Mm-hmm. Go past, and they it's like either it. you wanna be happy or you don't. Yeah. Like I think it comes to that point as we get older, like, okay. Because my mom, like, after my father passed away, she never remarried, never got with another man. I asked her why. She was like, because the standard that he left was so high. So it's just like, that's where I think I would be at after Takesa. Like, yeah, yeah, I'd be so picky. I'm just like, I'm because I probably would be looking for her, and that wouldn't be fair. So I just, I would stay single for that reason. Mm. It was like, well, you can change. you. I, I possibly could, but... Yeah, if I get, if I'm, yeah, yeah, mid-30s, yeah, I don't see myself trying it again. Like, if I get married mm-hmm. and me and Kessel don't work, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not getting married twice. Like, I already made that a vow. Like, I yeah. would say we can be forever friends. We can be with each other forever, but we're not walking down the aisle. I'm not asking you to marry me, and I know that sucks, but that's just where I'm at. Hopefully, I'll never get there. Right, right. But, that's, I already told myself, like, it's a lot of things I would not do more than once. Shout out to Takesa. She set the bar high. She set the tone at best. And she don't play. Period. Ever. Love that she daughter. <laughs> love that. Yeah. So, I know that. I know the love that I have now with this person, like, I would have to fuck it up in order for this not to work. And, yeah. That, that, that'd be hard. Other than getting on her nerves, but... I do that every day. I can't wait for y'all's wedding. I hope y'all have an open bar. Oh, we will. Wink, yeah, wink. we will. Definitely open open bar. Open. Not saying that I need an open bar to get through y'all's wedding. It would just be a nice little. Oh, yeah, there would be open bar. I already. If not, I know we're place. getting off topic a little bit, but I already said this is what I would want to do. Like, open bar you can get if you like as long as you don't get up when she walks in y'all can get up and get drinks as well. y'all can get up make make sure y'all get up and get a drink while I walking through <laughs> but when she walked through everybody needs to be sitting down but no because I want everybody to have a good time and I yes alcohol has a good time I'm gonna make sure that you know nobody's angry before they start drinking <laughs> cause that's how shit happens you be angry about something already you start drinking that shit intensifies so and I will have an open field and I will leave that to the imagination <laughs> for all the cigar smokers. There yeah. You go. Yeah. Weed smokers. Yes. Sorry, Granny. Sorry. They won't be there probably, but you know, if they are, it's going to happen at the reception, not doing the wedding. But yeah, yeah. That, that'd be nice. That'd be <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just wait a little bit. But no, fine. I do plan to have like a mini bar at the actual wedding because, you know, I don't want the reception and the wedding to be together. Just so you know, people, I want a little alcohol beverages or, but for sure, I, I seen this one idea, like uh, how you pick, how you know what seat is yours. Mm-hmm. And they had like different shots in them. Or for the Cute. people who didn't drink, they had a uh, candy. Yeah. Like, you know, but it was all color coordinated. So, you, or tequila, gin, whatever alcohol you had, that's where you had to. 
go see it. But it, you know, it um it had a legend. It wasn't <clears throat> it was self explanatory. You knew where to go see it. Yeah. I can't really put it into words. Uh oh, he coming. Um <laughs> but yeah. This is start of the scary movie. Just kidding, he's cool. No, but um the thing about love is the third love did come in unexpected. Like we had been talking on and off, on and off. But it's like the last time I went to oh, I went to her birthday party down at her mom's place. And she didn't think I was coming. I got a scolding from two people. They like, you better go. That girl like you, this and that. Oh. And uh, both of them, one of them was my sister and one of them was her sister's mother. Yeah, it was her stepsister. And she was like, you better go. I don't care what you do, this and that. You better go have a good time. So I went. Um, went, I immediately, first thing I met was her grandparents and her, and her, and her mother and then her stepdad. So I met, I it's like, we had been talking on and off, and it's like I didn't expect him. I didn't expect him not to be there, but I didn't expect him to be in the kitchen. So I walks in, they're like, "Oh, who are you?" This yeah. and that. And I'm like, "Oh, I'm Otis." Like, "Oh, who? You know Tukes? How you know Tukes?" I'm like, Ooh. and so me being funny, I'm like, "Well, we actually been talking for uh, we had been talking. She ain't gonna admit to it for about five years, but we've been together Dang. for coming up on three in May. Three, yes." And so they was like, oh, this and that. So I'm in there talking, joking, playing with the family. And she didn't even know I was there yet. Oh, my goodness. So she walked through. She's like, oh, hey. And she's like, and they was like, Kessel, why you didn't tell us about uh, your little friend that you've been having for about five years, this and that? And her mama was calling me her ex-boyfriend name because he got a, a oh. peanut head, too. <laughs> got a, a planter. And I'm like, I am not him. And I was like, oh, and then I would be fine. I'm like, you call me him if you want. And she's like, don't play with me because I will. And I'm like, I like I like to joke and play too. So it's like I hit it off right then and there with all of them. And then her stepdaddy came and he's like, oh, he's like, you looking like me because he ball. <laughs> Ain't got a beard. It was perfect. It, it almost was. And it was just like, damn, I didn't expect And then I met all like her cousins and everybody at once. So it was just like, it was like all or nothing at this point. It was mm-hmm. like, okay, we've been talking on and off. We've been flirting with each other. All right, what are we gonna do? And basically, she she told me she was like, "Hey, I'm not about to be just having sex with anybody. That's not me. I'm not about to do this, Y, and Z." Like you, like mm-hmm. okay. After like a couple of weeks of talking, like going up to her job, getting the food and shit like that, because I was like, I know she thought I was playing because I told everybody I ghosted her. <laughs> yeah, the I'm very gonna, first, yeah. Night, you know. But it was and after five years of talking, I'm sure it's like some okay, yeah. We it was see. like okay, like it's either we gonna see and this shit ain't gonna work, and then we're gonna go about our our merry day, mm-hmm. or this shit gonna work. She said you won't bet to waste no more of her time. Pretty much. And so that's what I like about her. Like she's really straightforward. She don't sugarcoat. Like you may not like what you hear, but I'd rather her tell me like she tells me. So yeah, so that's another when that's how you Ooh, I'm going to tell you how you know you really in love. And she going to laugh when she hear this. Please do, because I need to hear it. Um, So we were at Hangover one time. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Like, I, I had brushed my teeth and everything. Yes, this is going to be funny. And so, I'm, but see, when I'm out and about, I really don't want to be in people's faces. I'm like, I don't want my breath stink. And I'm, I'm real self-conscious. So I was all in her face saying something. And she said, she, she said, babe. Your breath stink. Oh. And I said, for real? And she said, yes. I said, nigga, I love you. Because I went to the bathroom and, you know, switched with some cold water. So it, I like, you got some gum? She's like, no, nope, but uh, sister had some gum. Now, I just wanted to go home at that point. But the fact that you let me know, yeah. that means, okay, I'm sure not about to be in people for young. But I'm like, yeah, what's up, bro? Keep my mouth shut. But the fact that you can let, she let me know. And it wasn't rude. It wasn't like, but she was like, hey, say, like, you know. Burning my she eyebrows off. Out. And I was like, damn. And she still stayed with you. I went home immediately and brushed shit out of my teeth. But sometimes <laughs> it don't be that teeth. Probably lose my tongue. And I say that because, you know, you when people smoke, you eat, you can brush your teeth all day long. Sometimes people don't be brushing that muscle in their yeah, mouth. Yeah, you got to get that scraper, whatever you need you to know? do. 
So I don't know what it was, but she says that little rent free in her head. Now I have told the world. So ha ha jokes on you. But yes, I didn't try. I wasn't trying to come out the house smelling like that. I was just like, damn, boy, that's fucked up. But she let me know. Yeah. Most people get offended, be mad, but I'm just like, nah, that that kind of turned me on because I'm just like, shit, that means you won't let me go out any kind of way. Mm-hmm. And so that beca- that's when you became like my friend, but that's love because Absolutely. a lot of people, like I tell, if something, like this one dude at my job, <laughs> got to take it back. I didn't, I really didn't like him, but he just kept coming to work every day. He little funky. So... I kept, everybody was talking about him, right? So I'm like, fuck it. Like, nobody's going to go say nothing. So I pulled, hey, I, I said, say, bro, um, you little musty. You know what he said to me? He said, it's not me, bro. <laughs> Wait. I, no, dead ass. He said, it's not me, bro. And so every, so I was like, I kind of got upset. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm being for real. He's like, it's not me, bro. Like, so shit, a couple other people start telling him. But when the owner told him, she said, Darius, she's like, you need to put on some deodorant. Like, <laughs> Why are you going to say his name? <laughs> I ain't say his last name. It's a lot of Darius's out here. <laughs> this is true. Okay. But, boy, that, yeah, that boy was musty. But I put him to the side. He set his up, self up for failure when he didn't take the advice. <laughs> All right, bro. I tried to tell you. Because, see, that's what my mama do. Mama, you know, pull you to the side. Just wash up on your arms. Get you some deodorant. Get you right, bro. Because... You were black <laughs> out there stinking. For real. You got to let them know. If you love somebody or you respect, this ain't about, about love. This is all about respect. I know we're getting off the topic a little bit, but still. I told him out the kindness of my heart because, you know, you can see people talk behind people back, talk behind people back. And it's like, okay, but who going to say something? Nobody wants to say nothing shit. All right. Well, you're not going to keep coming standing by me smelling like that. But, yeah, when he said, it's not me, bro, he actually got upset and mad. I'm like, okay. I told him I said, it is you. I told him straight, I said, it is you. And I said, when somebody else tell you that shit, now you're going to be mad because I got offended. I got really offended. Like, how you going to tell me it ain't you and everybody in here has mentioned something to you? They just then said it as a joke. I'm pulling you to the side and letting you know it's you. Stank, but yeah. So you gotta be real, people. You said, I told you said, him. <laughs> you said, "Let this be the last time." <laughs> yeah, let this be the last time. Because at the end of the day, like, why, man? Listen, Kessa did me a, a favor. That was the last time. Now I make sure before I go out the house. <laughs> now I gotta hobble up and get a tissue because you got me crying. Oh, you was, that that oh that just tickled you. But no, nah, for real, man. Like shit, you you better let somebody know because the let if your breath stink, if you musty, I will let you know. I told my homeboy that one time. Went to go pick up some. I said, bro, you uh. He said, bro, I just got through hooping. I said, well, I'm just saying, can't be serving people and you stink. Might as well top and tub. It is. It's a form. It's a form of love. I ain't in love with you, but I love you enough to let you know. Hey, something ain't right. I get that from my mama, though. But yeah, that's 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 love, though. You got anything else you want to say? Because I feel like you got the giggles now. You can't stop. For y'all who can't see her, she's over in, in the corner. <laughs> With your face is red. I ain't think. I ain't think it was that funny, but maybe because I said it. Come back. It's only so much. It's only so far I can go by myself. <laughs> and those for joining us, Dorothy is back. She had to take a brief intervention. Come on, I'm gonna keep my tissue with me. But yeah, I needed that last. Thank you. But would you not want somebody to tell you? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I absolutely would. It's like your friend, like whenever you're going out with your friends and your homegirl, one mm-hmm. of them, her hair, her edges ain't, you know, edging. And she tell you they I is laid. <laughs> okay. That'd be last time I tell you they, they ain't laid. You're going to let her go out any type of way? Yeah, like. <laughs> Sips water. Oh, my goodness. You are insane. 
Um, yeah, it's like one of those things. It's like you don't care about your homegirl then. Now, I'm going to tell you, whether yeah. you take it or not, that's on you because I can't. I can't afford you to do nothing. You know, you can lead a horse to water. You can get you can get that brush and brush them <laughs> if you want and let them know, hey, I'm helping you out. Get real close <laughs> and just be like, hey, I think you just got something right. Swoop it got up. It. Yep. Got it. You good. Let's go. <laughs> it's one of those. You know, there's certain ways. There's different ways you can show up for someone. Mm-hmm. And you got to do that. You got to show up for people. When you're in love with them, when you love them, care for them in relationships, you got to show up. Whether that be physical, mental, emotional, you know, True. try to do it. You're, oh. you're about to lose your voice. I can, I can tell. Man. But yeah, I mean. That was so funny. I just, oh, I just love you. Well. Exactly. You love me enough to tell me the truth. Yes. And that's one thing about it. Like, if I love you and I don't tell you the truth, then I can't really say I love you. Mm-hmm. Because that that's one of my biggest things. Like, if I if if you can be honest with me and I can take that constructive criticism and not get upset and go fix it, that's what you Dave, but some people don't. They don't. So, you know, you got to leave that love right there on the table. I'm like, all right, that's the last time I'll try to help you out. <laughs> like Darius. Like like Darius. <clears throat> Any closing remarks <laughs> yeah. before we go? Yeah, go in and get, get it right, get it right. Ooh. Woosa. Woosa. <laughs> you needed a good laugh today. I did. I really did need that today. Like, more, more that you know. So thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> and there he is. And you tell me I'm saying and like, everybody, I'm like, anybody who knows, they're going to be like, if, if I work with him, who do we work with at the same time? Yup. See, now everyone's going to be invested. I yep. might have, I might have. Uh, Sparked something. That's all right. <laughs> added to that cost. <clears throat> Okay, this is just pertaining to, mm-hmm. to love and everything. As for my closing remark, um, let me sip my water. Got to get back serious. Whoo! All right. <laughs> we'll laugh about it later. Okay. When someone isn't for you, God will make them embarrassed and disappoint you until you have no other choice than to walk away. Ooh, boy. That, yeah, that's deep. Because, yep. Yep. That's that's one hundred percent absolutely true. They gon' they gonna force you. You gonna force you up out of that. You're either gonna keep looking stupid, or you are gonna be like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. Mm-hmm. Because at one point in time, that was me looking oh. looking real stupid. And a lot of times, it doesn't matter who says it, friends, family, whoever. It doesn't matter. If, maybe you might have three times where you're like, oh, you know what? I don't want to be in this anymore. I don't deserve that, et cetera. Until mm-hmm. someone is ready to walk away, they're not going to go anywhere. They have to get tired. They have to be so fed up with getting hurt. They got to be tired of being tired. That was what me. you're going through. Because um, I've been I never forget. She asked me, she said, who you been talking to? And I said, I've been talking to myself. And myself said, I need to leave you alone. And that was the truth. Like, I really had to talk to myself after my homeboys and everybody said something like, you know what, y'all right. Like, I don't have nothing keeping me here. But, you know, that's how life be sometimes. Like, you can really lo- you can really love a person and that person don't love you back. Mm-hmm. But it feels so good when somebody loves you back. Absolutely. Absolutely. And them people, those of you that ain't, Cherishing that love that you get from your significant other and all that, you gonna regret it. You gonna regret it because they gonna get fed up. Cause you know, and you had a real one. And you keep sending text messages. Hi. Right. Mm. Okay. Bye bye. Shots fired. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. And if they listen. Thank y'all for tuning in to Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow wherever you get your podcast from. That's right, Otis. Whatever you say, Otis. It's been real. It's your boy, O.T. And Miss Dorothy. And we'll see you on the next episode of Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Y'all ain't stupid. They coming to see me.